ठीक ना हेलो बुलेवेड चर्च फैमिली ऑफ दी ओकलैंड सेंटर फॉर स्पिरिचुअल लिविंग माय नेम इज पॉल प्रसूति एंड आई विल बी योर होस्ट टुनाइट I welcome you to our midweek oasis Wednesday night service. I'm going off script and I'm going to tell you I am really excited about what's going to happen tonight because we have some absolutely beautiful beautiful activities planned for you tonight but I'll say the say that for a few minutes as I introduce it. As you will be able to experience tonight our Wednesday night oasis is a place where we can come together as a community to be spiritually refreshed between Sundays. Most Wednesday night services build upon the theme of the previous Sunday, sharing in a satsang style expressing science of mind principles and practices with the intention that these gatherings be informal intimate and interactive so in that concept let me tell you what our theme is our annual theme for 2023 is living out loud and our monthly theme for june is embracing self care and we're also celebrating pride month now last sunday reverend sunshine introduced ideas inspired by the talk title of personalizing the infinite and tonight our speaker will continue the exploration of this of this same topic so as we gather tonight i really want to welcome you when reverend sunshine first joined us early in her ministry she invited me me of all people and all of us to come to the center well and to do so she shared these six Cs for us to consider and incorporate so i have so i'd like to share them with you now she asks all of us when we come to the center for any event to come with a heart of love and tenderness known as compassion she also says please come ready to exchange openly i'll call that communication She asks us to come in harmony and ready to share. That's known as camaraderie. Come in partnership and cooperation. So I have here. I am, Reverend Sunshine. I choose to be in collaboration with you. Please come in spiritual awareness and truth, consciousness. So as we move into the program tonight. These six C's are the premise of sharing a wonderful evening with you. If you are new to our community or watching this later on on our YouTube channel, please visit our homepage at www.oaklandcsl.org. Click on the "I'm New" icon and look at the lower left-hand corner of that page to submit your email address. Once you do. You'll begin receiving the Village News newsletter once a week in your email. It has all of the information on what is happening at the center in the coming weeks. A couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. If you haven't done it already, I'm going to ask you to mute your own microphone. You can leave your camera on so we can see you, but muting the microphone will help us improve the quality of our of our recording. and transmission if we don't do that i mean if we do that it will improve the quality so please stay tuned through the end of the service for special and important announcements now it gives me great delight cuz i told you i was excited and i really am because i got some time with her in preparation for tonight's meeting she is our speaker for tonight so let me introduce you her bio reads Erin Louise Stewart and I just love Louise that's such a beautiful beautiful name Erin is all about expanding your world of possibilities to have more fun and freedom in life as a dreams come true coach living her dream life she has helped hundreds of others to do the same she is trained in multiple modalities of personal development 
and held a dual license as a spiritual practitioner at Agape International Spiritual Center and United Centers for Spiritual Living. Currently, Erin brings her wealth of knowledge, experience, loving heart, and caring spirit to the mortgage industry. As a mortgage specialist, she empowers financial literacy to re realize the dream of home ownership, investment opportunities, and generational wealth. Isn't that exciting? I can't wait to hear what she says. So as we do with every organized event at the center, we open with prayer. Erin, will you do the honors this evening? Absolutely, thank you so much. And I just wanna say, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you for this beautiful, wonderful invitation and opportunity. The prayer tonight is gonna to be a recorded prayer from my prayer CD, You Are the Answered Prayer. And it is the all things are possible. So I invite you to just, this is an experiential here uh, of the infinite, personalizing the infinite. So just breathe, receive, enjoy. You may play the prayer. Thank you. This prayer is to know that all things are possible. Let us turn within for prayer. Let us breathe fully and deeply into this now moment. Taking the breath. And with this complete and total release, I acknowledge this beautiful presence, this beautiful power, this beautiful source, this beautiful intelligence, this amazing life that we get to live as divine beings, infinite beings, spiritual beings, intelligent beings. How good it is to know our holy name, our holy nature, that we are made in the image and the likeness of this divine presence, this Holy Spirit, this loving intelligence that it inspires and compels and calls and answers itself within us that we live in this divine holy atmosphere how good it is to know that we're more than our name more than our body more than the activity of our lives of our affairs more than what we have lived, how good it is to know that we're not in the world, but that we're of the spirit, that we're living in this holy domain, knowing our holy place, knowing that this nature is infinite in its capacities and its possibilities, that we transcend any previous ideas, thoughts, beliefs, notions of any limitation. We are unlimited beings and how good it is to wake up in this moment to know one who is aware of their infinite nature infinite capacity infinite power infinite ability to make manifest to glorify the presence this life that we are here divinely appointed divinely designed and that this idea is made manifest as our very life, as this very moment, as this very breath, as this very holy conversation in this atmosphere of prayer, that we remember what we said yes to before we came into this incarnation, that we're more than what we appear to be, that we're living in this universe that is based on this infinite invisible source, substance, energy, field of potential and possibility. We're living in this universal playground of infinite 
unfolding potential and possibilities. And so we play full out. We play boldly. We create without any sense of any limitation. We create with the full awareness that we have been given by divine birthright, the right to choose whatever we would like, how we would like it to be. And so we're joyful participators and co-creators in this dynamic occurrence that is taking place. We understand that everything is created twice, first in the invisible, and then it becomes visible. We are mostly of the non-physical, invisible. There's so much more than what we have seen or known ourselves to be. We wake up in this moment to this. We remember truly beyond what we've ever said before or what anyone has ever told us before. We are infinite. We have freedom to create, to make manifest. We do it through our word, through our thought, through our belief, through our awareness, through our intention, through our focus, and through our right action. It is done to us as we believe. How we think, how we feel, what we say, what we do. And so we feel right now, we feel this great vastness that goes on forever. No beginning, no end. We feel ourselves full and inspired, called and compelled. We feel ourselves destined to live what we are here to live. We feel ourselves free of any sense of restriction and limitation. We feel ourselves empowered and backed, supported, supplied and sustained. We feel ourselves free to plant those creative ideas into that fertile soil of the infinite void the fertile void of that infinite, invisible vastness where everything emerges and we allow it, we cultivate it with the awareness that in God, all things are possible. In God, we have everything that we need. In God, it is able and capable, willing, and it does fulfill the desires and the intentions. And so we absolutely allow this to have its full and complete emergence within us, its full and complete expression within us, its full and complete release as the very life that we live. Everything that is taking place, we understand this, this infinite invisible source that is back of, inherent within. And so we are victorious in our ability to create, to intend to speak our word and to see it made manifest. How good it is, how joyful this is to know that we are liberated, freed into the full creation as spiritual beings, as a spiritual idea, as a spiritual identity, as a spiritual reality of the universe that conspires just for this and so much more. We surrender, yes God, as our source, yes God, as the highest idea in the mind of God, we say yes. We stand on this holy precipice of our ever becoming more, never less than who we are. Going boldly beyond what we've ever gone before. Knowing with joyful expectancy and anticipation that we are the answered prayer. Yes, God, thank you for this. Thank you for this freedom and this liberation. Thank you for this joyful co-creation. Thank you, God, for knowing who we really are. And it is in this knowing that I release this prayer, surrender it into its full and complete, ever becoming the greatest next yet to be. This is what I know, this is what I give thanks for. I allow it to be, and so it is. Amen. So how does that resonate for personalizing the infinite? What is your resonance? What is the holy remembrance? Hmm. 
Ooh, so it's good to be a channel and a vessel for the most high, all good, divine, uh, to say yes. Uh, I live a spirit inspired life. Um, what that means to me is that I live by inspiration. If I'm not inspired, I don't do it. I let um, my connection with the divine source matter more than anything. And um, it has taken me all over the world. Uh, I have had, life has surprised and delighted me beyond my wildest imagining, just because I said yes, and I was will willing to let go of everything every time I was guided to, to have everything. Um, and I wanna say I grew up with tremendous fear um, in this incarnation. I've had a lot of fear um, and, and terror. And um, I was in practitioner training and this wonderful practitioner, Andriette Earl, um, gave me a beautiful assignment. Um, because I was in fear and in struggle and survival a lot. Um, and she told me to go out and gather the evidence of the divine. And only I would know what that evidence was. And I remembered leaving that session with that powerful invitation. And I went out with new eyes and I went looking for the evidence of what felt like um, the evidence of the divine to me, confirmation of well-being, confirmation of um, all is well, uh, that I'm supported, that I'm taken care of, I'm provided for. And it was it was a beautiful assignment and a life-changing one. And since then, I've really encouraged my clients as well to gather the evidence, you know, of what speaks to them as absolute confirmation of their of our infinite nature our infinite reality and so um for me personalizing the infinite means that i'm in constant cultivation of my awareness of my infinite nature and reality it means that i cultivate an awareness of the infinite invisible um more than what i can see cuz more than what i can see um really creates unease sometimes it creates um you know discomfort it it creates separate uh creates limitation separation so i love that i love the spirit i love that i love the invisible i love um that my heart and my my passion is in great resonance for this relationship with myself um and with all of life so I live my life this way and um, I embody this all the time. And I've had extraordinary experiences. You know, I, I was guided to, when my kids were little, my daughter was seven, my son was 12. I was guided to close the door on my salon, hair salon, cause I was missing out on what I felt was most important, was meaningful, essential connection with my children and myself, and I was guided to dismantle my life, close the salon, um, get rid of all of our belongings. Um, you know, we brought our life, dismantled our life down to five boxes stored in a friend's garage and what we could carry on a plane with us. And we ended up living on this tiny island in, in the Caribbean, Tobago, and simplicity, no school, no work, we were living on that time, um, I think it was 300 and something dollars social security from my son's father who, who was deceased. Um, and we immersed ourselves into the um, bliss and simplicity of essential connection with the gorgeous tropical elements and environment, the culture and the traditions of those beautiful people and that country. And we connect it with spirit. We connect it with each other um, without distractions, TV and all of that other noise. And we were just present. And what this wonderful opportunity opened for all of us is that we could see that we could go anywhere in the world, that we were global citizens of the world and that spirit life would take care of us. It would rally time and time again, everywhere we went. 
And so I have lived a life that defies odds. My bank account does not show it. It does not make sense. You can't make sense of it logistically or logically, but I live of spirit. I live of principle and I do um, prove and demonstrate the principles. Uh, so I love seeing that when I say yes, I keep this connection very strong for myself as first and foremost and primary. And then I watch life meet me in that and surprise and delight me. And I just say, yes, I've dismantled my life over and over again. <laughs> um, and I move when spirit tells me to move. And, and like I say, it's taken me all over the world. And I've done that again with very little um, visible finances. A way just opens. Miracles happen. I love riding the momentum of miracles and I love playing this way. So for me, personalizing the infinite, infinite is really playing and having fun and enjoying and saying yes. And, and then letting my life be a blessing and a gift um, and, um, and uh, just really following that impulse of inspiration and empowered guidance within myself. And so, um, I want to speak a little bit about personal uh, spiritual power, our spiritual power that we're ordained with, um, that is innate to our nature, our divinity, and how we're using that power, um, whether we're a power of influence, influencer, or are we a regurgitator of what is and responding and reacting to what is the visible experience. Um, and I have to say, sometimes I get caught in life. It's a dance to maintain my clear uh, awareness and knowing and navigate this world, you know, of life, you know, that presents itself. But I find that life will give me many opportunities to, from the challenges, um, to really rise in my power and remember how powerful I am. I have so much evidence um, of life. You know, when I align, I get clear. I go back to the principles of what's real, what's true, what I know, and the invisible, infinite, invisible source where all emerges, everything comes from the same beautiful vastness of invisible. Um, and then I just watch again, life just meet me in that, rally in that, align in that, and then conspire. Um, so I really encourage not just plugging into mainstream um, status quo of what is and be mindful of what we're listening to, what we're giving our attention to, because it does influence. And we have this power that anything we give our attention to becomes more. And so really honing that spiritual power and creating a world beyond the world of what is presenting itself and then continuing to spiral and sink in that same conversation or same um, stream of consciousness. So for me, finding that balance of dancing in this world of what presents itself that can be challenging. And then what's my anchor? What's my go-to, my spiritual practice? For me, um, I love uh, Abraham, Esther Hicks, because I love their teaching. I feel that it's radical. It's all about alignment, uh, alignment with the infinite self. It's all about um, the powerful, radical um, truth of feeling good, that when we feel good, we're in alignment with our infinite nature. And when we don't, then we're not quite in alignment. Something has got our focus and our attention. So I pay a lot of attention to vibration, frequency, resonance, and momentum. And so a lot of my practice is maintaining and sustaining first thing upon awakening, 
my quiet mind meditation. And then I inundate with Abraham a lot throughout the day, listening to their many plethora of YouTubes um, that are all about raising our vibration and our frequency. And when I do that, life flows and feels so much better. And then I'm a powerful influencer. I'm using my focus and my power to infuse and breathe life into things and knowing that I'm doing that from a very powerful, clear channel and vessel of the most high. Um, so let's see. So I love building a momentum of uh, feel good focus. Um, and I am very intentional about that. Um, I'm very selfful about that. That is very self caring for me. I have to be in this as good as uh, I can feel place to be beneficial. Um, and that in alignment has influence, you know, that joy that feel good is contagious. And um, it feels so much better to live. I want to say that contrasts or challenges are a powerful catalyst for clarifying our spiritual power. So I had a couple of incidences recently where there's been some unexpected changes in my life. And um, one of the people in our family became very, um, very problematic. Um, it looked like it could go really bad, like court, um, attorneys. Um, it just looked like, and, and this person really kind of was spiraling and then just really splattering that. And it was just kind of an intense cir situation, circumstance. And I, at you know, at one point was caught in all of this swirl and feeling, oh my gosh, trying to hold my center and all of that. And then at some point it got so intense that I said, we're going to go high. <laughs> There's no place for us to go, but we're going high because I know the principles, I know the power of high vibration and feeling good. And so I made it my business and focus to just focus on getting myself back to a feel good place. Um, and I said, they're gonna either rise, this is a principle, science of mind principle, they have to rise to me or either they're gonna vibrate and into another experience. Um, and when we went high, and we maintained that, I felt better immediately in the situation. And then I started getting these really cool inspired ideas, you know, and I just, it was creative, it was fun, it was playful, it was light. And I was ac actually able to be genuinely, sincerely loving with this person um, and holding my center and not being moved by whatever, you know, wherever they were. And um, it felt good to rise in myself and to be clear and affirm for myself the power that I am, the power that I know, and the power that I use. And then to watch that be met so beautifully and wonderfully. And there is another opportunity here where I'm getting a great opportunity to be clear. And that is with all of the violence that's happening. Um, there was yet again another neighbor murdered um, in his yard while gardening um, and living in fear here and wanting to not feeling like I can walk, you know, and, and stuff. So anyway, I just said, no, I'm clear of what world I live in. And I'm not gonna be reacting and responding to this. This is like whatever it is, but I know, I know the world that I live in. And so I wanna invite that question of, what world are you living in? And how are you using your spiritual power that you are ordained with? How are you moving through this experience and determining your own reality? You know, our Reverend Michael used to say that very little people really experience reality. They experience, we experience our perception of reality and for every one of us on this earth plane, we're experiencing a completely different world. It looks like there's one world that we're all experiencing, but the truth is that we are all experiencing the world of our perception. And so what world are you living in?
Well, I just want to kick it off, I, not necessarily to answer your question, but just to simply applaud you for the power that I knew you were going to bring. That's mm -hmm. why I invited you here. And um, yay, Aaron, for you. bringing principle and for, you know, um, sharing your wisdom and real life practical experiences on i love that you know ch you chose to go high i thought of yeah. michelle obama when 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 they go low we go high That's and, right. and that was exactly it that you chose to go high in principle met you there and yes. shifted things around you and so um my goodness i i i that's what i want to say thank you thank you and we're not done that was a pause Oh, okay. So we got a little bit more. Okay. But thank, you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And we, um, Paul and I worked it out and Peter, so it'll be perfect. Um, so when I ask and pose the question of what world are you living in, Barbara Marks Hubbard um, talked about imaginal cells and that imaginal cells are these cells that dare to dream and go beyond um, what has been before. I am happy to announce I am an imaginal cell, joyfully, um, proudly, profoundly, powerfully, um, uh, personalizing the infinite imaginal cell. And I know all of us are here as well in this beautiful community. And so when a imaginal cell dares to go beyond and dares to dream and imagine and other cells dare to go beyond and dream and imagine, eventually there becomes a cluster and a grouping of those imaginal cells that become so much that there's a quantum shift into a whole new reality. And so I'm going to invite us um, to go into a short, brief, um, brief guided meditation, and then we will have some sharing. Um, Reverend Michael uh, said, and so let's just go into taking a moment to close our eyes. Turn within, breathing into the sacred invitation and opportunity. And Reverend Michael said, imagine a group of people arrived on earth against nothing and for something. So imagine us as this group, not pushing against anything, unwanted, but we're for something, for what we want, this leading edge, dreaming beyond what's been before, imaginal selves. My beloved friend, sister, Patricia Lynn Riley said, imagine until we imagine something, it remains an impossibility. Once imagined, it becomes our experience. So I invite us to go into the world of our most wonderful imagining, a world that indeed works for everyone, beyond works for everyone. It's a world um, conceived and dreamed of, of out of all of the lifetimes and incarnations of everyone that has lived. It's a world when, where everyone's in alignment with their infinite nature, their infinite power. So it's a world of generosity. It's a world of um, wealth and abundance. It's a well, world of plenty more than enoughness. It's a world of utopia and harmony where everyone is happy. Imagine a world where everyone is living in alignment vibrational frequency, high vibrational frequency of their infinite nature. So the world that we may be seeing or experiencing becomes obsolete. As Buckmeister Fuller, I think that's his name, said, you don't try to um, recreate a world. You, you are so clear of the world that you know and live that the other world becomes obsolete. And so this world becomes obsolete at the level that it has been lived. We're in a quantum shift here. And so I sense and feel into the frequency and vibration and vitality of the rainbow in celebration of pride, everything, always. 
of everyone just free. Everyone has more than enough. The earth, the environment is thriving, radiant, vibrant, beyond beautiful, gorgeous. Everything is in harmony. There is no sickness. There's an absolute well-being, mm, ease and grace. That our primary focus is the joy of expression of our ability to use our God power and our creativity to make manifest and just having fun and playing beyond what has ever been before. And just honoring and celebrating the infinite expressions of what is expressing itself just for the joy of expression. So real joy, real celebration, real inclusivity, and just feel into the vibration and frequency, the imaginal cells beyond what's been before. Get a sense of that for yourself. Sense this for yourself as a personalizer of the infinite. How are you playing? How are you expressing? How are you experiencing? What world are you living in? What world would you love to live in? Of your wildest imaginings with all things possible. Mm. It's delicious. It's beautiful. It's abundantly blessed. Such freedom, such joy, such delight, such pleasure, such power for good. Mm. Everyone gets to have what they want, complete freedom and liberation. Mm. That's the world that I'm living in. Mm. Thank you for joining me in this by the power of two or more gathered, touching and agreeing. And so it is. So I would love to, Reverend uh, Sunshine Michelle gave us a wonderful invitation uh, to stand in our power and to let her know how you're doing that, how we're doing that. And so I would love to invite any sharing from anything that happened this evening of resonance of what you experienced or how you would like to share in this moment, celebrate something about how you're personalizing the infinite. So open for sharing. Great. So <clears throat> beloved community, as we know, if you want to share, please turn on your camera and <clears throat> use your reaction button to raise your hand or do like this and I'll recognize you. And um, we'll move forward. So Erin, it gives me great pleasure to bring forward Maureen French for you. Wonderful. Hi, Erin. Thank you so much. What a what a mind blowing talk. My <laughs> my mind is is uh, has expanded. So thank you. Um. So I resonate with what you said, and actually. You're, you kind of said, well, how are we doing it or how are we experiencing it? So I have a talk, a, a meeting with a higher up in my office and I'm really feeling like this is a divine thing happening. Like I need to go and talk to him, not just for me. It's not just me talking to him, but I'm talking for an, a group in my office, but not talking about the group do you find like it's a it's a spirit driven thing so anyway i'm looking forward to connecting with it and being able to be in alignment in that space and time and being that expression so thank you.
someone else feel like sharing something or have an inquiry or question or comment? I knew when we were preparing for this with Aaron that I, I got excited. I was excited. I wanted to know. I knew this was something that was going to be something I have to go back and watch and dissect and ingest because it was going to be packed, filled with wonderful, wonderful, um, more than just a nugget. <laughs> this was the fastest workshop <laughs> I've ever attended. So I'm grateful for you for that. I did want to don't know if you could back up into your talk, but you mentioned some, a series of activities that start and vibration was in there. And I think you ended with momentum. Yes. You had a series of words sequentially spaced on purpose. Like I love instruction, <laughs> you know, and something that I can, can you recall what those yes. items were so that I can recall? Alignment. Them? Yeah, alignment is vibration, frequency, Hold on. resonance. Resonance, okay. And momentum. So um, Abraham Hicks talks a lot about this, a lot about vibration. Everything is energy, you know? So there's every energy precedes form as we know. So we want to go back to energy, vibration, frequency resonance is how what resonates now something negative can be in resonance depending on where our vibration and frequency is but when i'm speaking of resonance i'm talking about like what lights you up like that prayer resonance that's truth you know uh, inspiration bliss joy things that beauty you know nature momentum it's important to establish a feel good momentum you know, and it's self full and self caring to be make feeling good priority because that's direct alignment with our infinite self. When we don't feel good, we're out of alignment. There's you know some disconnect with our 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 infinite self, and so momentum. I begin first thing in the morning with quiet mind meditation. Abraham invites us to do that, listening to the sound of a fan, air conditioner, something neutral about 20 minutes, it helps to over time quiet the mind. And when we're in quiet mind, the mind is not thinking about all the things we think about a lot of times that can be resistant in nature. And then it opens us up to receive on what Abraham calls the receptive mode. So we're more in alignment with our infinite self and then we're able to receive the in, uh, inspiration, guidance. We're able to hear that more and connect with that. And so we have that momentum. I go to bed with practices throughout the day. I enter in a date with Abraham to keep me in this because as we're in this navigating this life, it's a lot of distraction. We can get caught. How do I take care of my grandson and do all these things that are pulling on me and maintain my center? So I have something that begins the day that sets the tone, quiet mind. I have Abraham throughout the day, which brings me right back to alignment, vibration, frequency. I sit in the garden, look at beauty, be in nature, whatever it is, look at things that are funny, feel good, mindful of what I give my attention to. You know, if we're giving airtime to unwanted stuff, then we're amplifying a certain thing. Um, and then the momentum grows and then it becomes easier to attract things that feel good and inspire us. It loops us. We can have negative momentums as well, um, depending where we are in spiral. So vibration frequency it always goes back to that how am i feeling the better i feel the more in alignment i am the worse i feel then let me go back and do some more vibrational feel good focus and that creates momentum that gets bigger and then it comes easier so i hope that answers your question perfect that's it's so rich and full i got to be able to break that down to a point that I have a little note to remind myself of the process. So thank you so much. Feel good, simple, simplicity. Truth is simple, feel good. Make that your primary focus. It has to be primary before anything. It's oxygen mass on. And when you're building a feel good momentum and focus, it's like Abraham says, why do we have to work so hard 
to get people to feel good, <laughs> you know, and it's our nature. You know, when we feel good, that's, that's alignment with divine nature and reality and we're in harmony. So, and it feels so much better to live. Thank you. I appreciate it. Someone else? I have a comment, Paula. Please forgive me for uh, not turning on my camera this evening. But first of all, my name is Sabrina, and I want to say thank you very much for that wonderful, wonderful uh, presentation. And as I, as you were speaking, I was thinking of um, Michael Beckwith and and the visioning process and the the place where he says. You have to prepare yourself by putting yourself in this place and feeling of unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And and I'm listening to you say that, and I'm like, yeah, that's the feeling that I just keep bringing myself back to when I need to. And one of the things that I do is I watch videos of puppies playing and kittens playing because it makes me smile right away and I'm like oh and I start feeling spirit because I'm feeling it right in that special place so I um, am going out and collecting um, these things like your assignment and now I'm like okay I'm going to collect more and the more I have, the more I can dip into quicker and bring myself back into alignment. So I just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. That's it in a nutshell right there. Just sustain and maintain that as much as you can. <laughs> and when it gets rough, go high. Know our spiritual power. Nothing is more powerful than that. We influence. We're not under the influence, we influence. I think that's so important, Erin, um, what you just said, when when things get rough, go high, because you know we're in such a tough time right now, as you acknowledged that there's so many things, like you were saying that your neighbor was murdered. Um, you know, it's just like right next door, a neighbor murdered in his own yard while gardening, bless his, his soul. Um, and, and that's tough. And, you know, so how do you go high when things are tough like that? I'm not necessarily answer, asking you that to answer, but for us to reflect on when we're in the moment in a tough time to remember to go high with that. And even with something as devastating as that, rather than letting it spiral us into a place where we can't function or you know, don't don't want to be here, there's still a way to go high. There's still a way in my mind to go high and have spirit help us to move through this with ease and grace, to find the courage, find the strength, find the trust, find the way to keep going, whatever it is. So it's really very important lessons that you put forth today for this for our community to be able to remember to use, you know, the bottom line of everything I heard you say is to use our spiritual principles and practices and it will take us through every time. Every yes. time. Yes. I agree. And um do a little self center promotion but there's so many um things that go on here at the center that allow us to um recognize the vibration and increase that frequency and and connect and resonate with um one is wednesday nights and of course sunday service we have small groups going on that are quite radical <laughs> our dr Dan group is has been an inspiration for me every day at noon uh, monday through friday and um i feel like we've got a good place going on here reverend sunshine i attribute to you and your leadership and and maureen and the board of directors right behind these gates there's something really wonderful to and you'll find that 
I almost want to say, and Aaron, correct me if I'm wrong, but that trigger that switches you from to go high. To, to, when you're in the in the low spot, something goes, oh, I can go call my practitioner or I can go to the center and enjoy the because we have beautiful gardens that you can walk around. It's it's a relatively safe area. Um, I can, you know, go their center activities that encourage that moment, you know, raising your vibration and frequency and resonance and establishing a moment and maintaining a mo momentum. Yes. So just a little, we have a place to go where we can do that physically and it's called yeah. the Oakland Center yeah. for Spiritual Living. So um, just a Very little. Very blessed. And it's easier to go high when you're establishing a momentum while things are good. <laughs> it's it's harder to do it. But I must say, again, pain or challenge is a great catalyst to want to feel good. So for me, feeling really bad is a motivation. I can only do that for so long. And then I'm like, enough. I want to feel good. I want to feel better. And then that makes it's a stronger ask um, to go high and always return back to the principle of alignment, yes. which always feels so much better to live. Someone gave me the acronym for pain. We used it um, quite a bit um, during the day. Um, pay attention inward now. Mm. And that is like the shift where you can go and realign. So the pain does have a purpose in a way. <laughs> in a way I can use that as a trigger to get back on track. So anyone else have anything to share? We're wrapping up our time here. We like to be timely here at the Oakland Center among many other attributes. Um, Reverend Sunshine, are you cool with everything? Oh, I had, I had one question. Okay, Maureen, let's have it. So, I really, you know, think that your the way your consciousness is like it's so it sounds so adventurous and so liberated and you know, and I can't help but say that I'm you know mid forties and it's like retirement, retirement. What do you think about retirement? So what would you say to that? How what's your answer to that? That when you're being pulled to you know different places or you know, all of those things, how do you not get, let that get in your way? Or, I mean, anyway, hopefully you understand what I'm asking. Yes. I live on vacation all the time. That's just my lifestyle because I live by spirit and in spirit, there's no time, there's no limitation. So I would say, give in to what you love. Just I love the imagination of retirement and what that looks like, feels like. And as you're giving the energy and feeling that and allowing yourself to just love it and dream about it without any limitations of or restrictions of how, time, timing, where I am in my life, what ifs, let spirit handle all of that. Just pour yourself, use your spiritual power and personalize by just giving attention to what you love and what feels good about that. And just imagine the places, dream and look at things. It, the inspiration will come, momentum will come out of that. You will attract things and it'll start happening. And then it will show up in your life, your current experience. But things will become clearer. I would just say pour, infuse your spiritual power just because it feels good. Give yourself to that and dream without any restriction or limitation. That's a wonderful invitation of how you can personalize the inf infinite and see what unfold be pleasantly open to be surprised okay thank you <laughs> perfect maureen i think that brought us to an excellent share close is everybody in alignment with that if so we're going to move into the next section but before we do that i want to show some love and gratitude shall we to aaron for giving us so much in so little time it's huge <laughs> This is definitely a go watch when it gets posted on Monday. And 
bring a friend. And we're going to talk about that right now, Reverend Sunshine. Here we go. Peter. Thank you, Aaron, again. Peter, if you're ready, let's get um, moving on the announcements. And I'll pull up my stuff as you pull up yours. June is Pride Month with, nah, June is Pride Month, which is dedicated to the celebration of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning intersex and asexual LGBTQIA community. Pride Month began after the Stonewall Riots, a series of gay liberation protests in 1969, and has since spread outside of the United States. Celebrate with us Pride Month. This Sunday, July 2nd, Reverend Dr. Sunshine Michelle Coleman will be launching the July topic of Speaking Truth to Circumstances. Her topic is Monsters, Inc. I, th I think how they coined the phrase when I hear the movie. Meditation is at 10 and service is at 1030. Next Wednesday, July 5th, practitioner Christopher Brown continues the discussion on Monsters, Inc. Meditation is at 630 and service is at 7. And it will be right where we are today in Zoom. Open Forum is back and in person Sunday, July 9th at 1.30. I know the slide says one, but we have a meal beforehand. Lunch will be available that day. So they're pushing it back to 1.30. The Board of Trustees will be presenting the State of the Village. Bring your questions. On Saturdays, July 8th and July 15th, Freddie Lambright III will present the thought-provoking topic of cosmonaut consciousness. Explore the cosmos of your mind. Freddie will be leading a two-part workshop series focusing on the guiding principles of Afrofuturism and how those principles can then reinvent our spiritual practices. The registration link is on our website under upcoming classes and workshops. Cost is $30. News from the bookstore. Everything is 40% off in the month of July. There's a calling and I hear it. Early holiday shopping. Get more books. That thing in the bookstore you've been waiting for for so long. The possibilities are endless. Raise your vibration and check out the bookstore and save 40% off in the month of July. How's that, Aaron, for tying it in? That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bring a Friend Sunday is coming. The new date for Bring a Friend Sunday is July 23rd. Invite your friends now. Ask them to reserve the time. Bring them into your vibration and get them in the momentum to come to church with you on July 23rd. See, Aaron, it works. <laughs> <laughs> bless us. Bless us all. So yay, yay, yay. Bring a friend Sunday. Late breaking news. Early bird registration for the CSL Summer SOAR Conference at Asilomar was extended and it now ends on Friday, June 30th. So if you want to attend and take advantage of the early bird, um, you can do that through this Friday, the 30th. Please visit csl.org for more information. Please visit the upcoming classes and workshop page on our website, oaklandcsl.org for more information about learning opportunities. That's where you'll go. And don't forget to visit the events page on our website to see more about our upcoming special events. As always, for information on all that's going on at our center, it's in the website or you can get it in our newsletter, The Village News. Remember to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for special updates and content you'll only find by liking and subscribing to Oakland Center. Please like us and subscribe to Oakland Center today. Look at this great, beautiful team of vibrating and, and frequently 
resonating folks that <laughs> provide such outstanding service. Let's bless them and be grateful for their, their presence because they make our center strong, bold, and beautiful. So thank all these folks when you see them, they're at a high level of service for our center. With that in mind, I have a sense of gratitude. So I'm gonna move into our joyous giving moment. So please follow along as I read our giving affirmation. Whatever it is you want to give to the center, whether it's time, treasure, or talent, just hold that, vision it, hold it close to your heart. Your portable body temple, as Reverend Ikea tells me from time to time. And know that that gift is precious and that you can share it with our center. So this gift I give is God in action. It does good work in the world and blesses creation. And so it is. And it's easy to contribute if you feel so moved tonight. Um, all you have to do is again, go to the website where everything seems to live these days. Use that donate icon button at the top with the heart. Once you click there, you'll see five ways to give via donate via the donate icon in the left-hand corner um, where you can use a credit card or you can use Zelle or mail or addresses there. There's also texting and there's also um, the offering basket. And how can you use that? Join us on Sunday at service, meditation at 10 and service at 10.30. So with all of that in mind, I'm, I'm, I want to um, thank some folks for their work tonight as we get ready to close a few minutes beyond our eight o'clock time. Uh, first of all, Aaron, again, thank you. Again, this is a rewatch. Bring your friends, raise their vibration, raise your vibration. Come back and watch it on YouTube. Aaron, it was just brilliant. Thank you so much. You made my day. I want to thank the ministerial support that we have here at the Center for our Wednesday nights. Primarily, Reverend Sunshine, thank you for allowing me to take and give service through this, this um, available way when I can in the physical. So thank you so much. It, it means the world to me. I want to give out to a shout out to Reverend Sally. I try to give an update when I know where she's at. She's back home in Antioch. So yay, she's close by. She takes over for me on the office of, uh, every other Wednesday um, um, for being host. And I'm so glad I can share it with her. So please visit next Wednesday when Reverend Sally's hosting. And I believe it's Christopher Brown. So that should be a fun combination. The Zoom team. Aaron, you'll love this. It takes a lot to make me look good and takes a lot to make me sound good. And if I looked good and sounded good tonight, it's the responsibility of my brother, Peter up in Portland and my sister, Alice at Lake Merritt, because without them, none of this would happen. And the leader of the pack in the background is our wonderful administrator, Constance Chapman. So please, please, when you see them or talk to them or Zoom with them or chat with them, give them an extra hug of love because they really, really make Wednesday night happen. So with all of that in mind, I thank you for being here tonight. And we're going to end with prayer just the way we started with prayer. And Erin, if you would, will you take us out tonight? Thank you. So just taking a deep breath in. Again, deep resonance and the frequency and the vibration of the most high, all good. Oh, all we can say is thank you. Thank you. Spirit has showed up and showed out. Personalizing the infinite has showed up and showed out. It has been a wonderful and wondrous time, perfect in every way. It has fulfilled itself. This divine inspired idea is constantly in fulfillment of itself as thyself, each and every one of us, for everyone here in this sphere of influence and affluence, for all of those that will listen to and watch this recording, we're all one in this. And we are so grateful that life as we have known it has shifted. The quantum shift has happened. We are clear and we are clear moving forward of the world that we live in, of our spiritual power. 
of our unique personalization of the infinite. For this and so much more, we do give thanks. And so it is. And so Amen. It is.